All right, uh, let's look at the homework 1.4, uh, problem number three. All right, so we have this function, uh, f of x is equal to square root of 2x minus 5. Uh, we want to find its, uh, its domain and the range. All right, so uh, let's find its uh, natural domain here. All right, so to find the domain, uh, since there's a square root, we know that the expression inside the square root must be non-negative. So we know that in math notation, it's going to be 2x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. All right, so let's solve this uh, inequality. Uh, first, I'm going to add 5 to both sides so we can get rid of that negative 5 on the left. So we get uh, that. All right, so you have a 2x is greater than or equal to 5. Then we want to isolate x, so I'm going to divide through by 2 to get um, x is greater than or equal to 5 over 2. All right, so that's the domain. All right, so let's uh, uh, type it in. All right, so we know that uh, we want x to be greater than or equal to 5 over 2. So we put 5 over 2. All right, so since there is equality, uh, we put the square bracket, right? So that's inclusive, right? And then we want to go all the way to positive infinity. So we're going to do a symbol, and there's infinity there. All right, instead of a square bracket, we're going to use the uh, right parenthesis, right? Let's check the answer. All right, uh, it came back, and looks like uh, we got the domain correctly, all right? So then we want to find the range. All right, so range is actually a little bit tricky. All right, range is going to be a, a collection of uh, possible y values, right, or possible function value. All right, so we know that uh, because of the square root, right, uh, we cannot get a negative value, right? So it's going to be at least zero, right? But uh, we know that we can actually achieve zero by plugging in 5 over 2 for x, we can get a zero. Right, so at least zero, and it could be zero too. So the lowest possible function value is zero. Then any number bigger than uh, bigger than zero can be uh, can be obtained. So it's going to go uh, all the way to positive infinity. So I'm going to put the positive infinity here, and then put the right parenthesis. Right. All right, so um, uh, let's uh, double check with them. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use a software called the GeoGebra. This is a free uh, for everyone to, to download. But I'm going to open up GeoGebra. Right? So then I'm going to uh, sketch the graph of uh, f of x uh, is equal to uh, square root, SQRT, right? uh, of um, 2x minus 5. And uh, hit enter. Right, so you can see that uh, this is the graph. Right, so you can see that the uh, function value, lowest value, is started at zero because that's the x-axis, and we can achieve any any value beyond uh, and including zero. So anything greater than or equal to zero, we can achieve that. So we know that the range is going to be any real number greater than or equal to zero. And in interval notation, this is the notation. All right, so uh, let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and uh, looks like we got the uh, range correctly as well. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.